Hello guys, you're welcome back to the class and you're welcome back to the uh, YGC uh, class, okay? And we are still on this topic, uh, indices, okay? And we have two, three questions here uh, under this uh, indices to solve. We have a three question there for this uh, coming uh, YGC examination. So we have started our class and this is the first topic. And we're looking at question under our uh, indices, okay? I picked this question from past question of YGC or the YGC here and it is indices what question different uh, years okay guys uh if you are new to my channel or just watching my video for the first time do it to subscribe like or change your button in case what should have been a feel like this and you'll be the first to be notified whenever you have a whenever we have a brand new like this in our video in our channel so you'll be the first to be notified and before you proceed, I think by now you should have your pen with you and also your uh, lesson notes. So let's dive into the solution of this question here. Yeah? Okay, before I go, I'll, I'll have two questions here to solve. But I'll solve question one. Okay, this one is question one. I'll solve this question two. But this question three, I'll give it as a classwork, I'll assign it to be submitted. So if you are not yet... Uh, join my telegram group or my whatsapp group so i'll drop the link in the comment section or in the screen below so you can join us and if you want to get access to the material i'm using to take my class so you can also join so you get it from that particular uh, channel right so let's dive into it um please and um, please i want to do this for favor for me i want to share this video uh so people are looking for this opportunity can get in touch with this video so they can learn from the channel also so let's dive into it so question one still does you evaluate 27 multiplied by by two raised to power of zero multiplied by three raised to power of minus two divided by we have four raised to power of one over two so how to solve this question okay this question is very simple. So how they solve it is being the first time you see the question like this, non I did solve it as a, as a student, okay? So imagine that you see this question now uh, in this upcoming exam now. So how they solve it? So let's dive into it. So let's question one. We have the solution. So here we have the question here. We have 27 multiplied by. So in this place, you know, these are uh, two raised power of zero. You should know that uh, in the law of indices I gave you that I explained everything about indices. You know that 2 raised power of 0, anything that raised power of 0 is always equal to 1. So this one we have 1 here. Yeah? So let's say that we have 1 multiplied by. So in this place, this one is negative inverse. Okay. So in case you missed our previous class on this law of indices, when it's in a question like this, it's negative inverse, which express that if you have a raised power of minus n, and you can express this minus here is represented as 1 over and this a is this power of what or a is power of this n so whenever whenever i say expression like this mathematics just uh, this is the answer and when i say uh, expression like this mathematics this is the answer according to the law of indices so let's apply z we have it in form of this so let's bring back in form of this so if you bring back in form of this so we have also to be equal to this place to be equal to we have one over that is three with power of what of two so that is the same thing of this we have here compared to the negative law of uh, indices. So here we see divided by. So this one, okay, let me put it like this. Let me open bracket because this one multiplied by these two here. I put this one inside brackets, okay. So the division I have here, let me put it like this. We have divided by, okay. And this one is also what negative index. This is also negative index. So how do you apply this one in form of this negative index? This minus here is the same thing as right as 1 over, okay? And this one is because that is 4 raised to the power of what? 1 over 2, okay? So we close bracket. So let's solve it. So let's solve this one. So this one we have equal to, that is a, that is a 20. This is uh, 27. 1 times 1, that gives us multiply by. 1 times 1, that is 1 over. So in this space, we have 9, right? It has 2 raised to the power of a 3. I mean, 3 raised to the power of 2, we give up 9. That's 3 times 3. We have 9. So we have 9 here. So we have divided by. So in this place now, that is uh, this square root here, this square here, this half here. You know, in the law of indices, I gave you one a law. That is, uh, that is uh, the third law. I mean, the seventh law I gave you under this law of indices. When you have a, what, a root fraction, I mean, if you have a root of power, if you have a question that has a root, that has root as a power. So it means this is the root or the cube root or anything that has root. So if you have a spell like they have 2 raised power 1 over 2 is called to that is square root of what? Of a this a. Or if you have something like this, 
a raised up a raised power two one over three it means that we have to find what the cube root of this word this a so if we should apply it here this half is the same thing as what well, and square root of what of four so this here we have developed by that is one over that is square root of what of four so in this place now let's solve the multiplication first so it means that this nine nine here one nine can go to 27 that gave us as three three times one that gave us as three that divided by so in this part now square root of four you know the square root of four is what is two so we have one over what that is two and now you can simplify it very simple now so uh, this place is in fashion this is only fashion make this also in fashion to do the one to it and this multiplication here you change to what uh this division here you change to multiplication so when you change to multiplication it will turn to the inverse of this second part here this two will goes or this one will comes down so that because that is three over one multiplied by that is two over one okay so this two will goes up why this one will come down so when this division is changed to multiplication so it'll be equal to three times two that is six one times one that is one so the answer to this question is equal to what six so the answer to this is equal to six so guys that is how you solve this question or it's in a similar question like this that is how you solve it so let's go to the question two Okay guys, here we come back. So let's solve this question two now. So to solve this question two, it's almost like our question one we solved there. But this one, uh, this is a fractional index. Uh, this one is negative index. Uh, this one is uh, what's a fractional index. So how do you solve this question like this? So let's put it here. Let's explain this one out. Here we have what this minus we have here. It will affect. According to a lot of indices that I gave you that time, this minus here will affect this what these are uh, brackets. Whereby that this minus here, we have to call effect on this bracket. So this one to be equal to, let me see the question 2 here. It will be equal to this uh, 125, it goes up because of this minus. Uh, y and this 8, it comes down, down. Okay? So it will be equal to that is 125 divided by that is 8. Okay? Everything is raised power of 1 over 3. So... We have multiplied by so in this place now we have the same thing here. This uh, one over four is saying as find this the fourth root of this word uh this question. This one over four is saying find this fourth root of this question. So it means that we have one over sixteen. We have the fourth root of one over sixteen. Okay, we want to find the fourth root of this one over sixteen. That is the, the same thing we have this according to the law of this thing I gave you in the previous class. Whenever I say one over and I have a unity as a uh you have a one as the numerator you find the fourth root of it this one uh, also if it comes to this place also find the third root of this uh, question yeah but because of this minus set uh, that is why i still express it like this so we have to be equal you have to divide it by and here this one over two 25 is power one over two so that means that you find the square root of this 25 so that be equal to we have a square root of all 25. so now let me bring this one back here yeah? So this one to solve it now here we have what this one over two is power one over three it means that we find the what the the cube root of this or this question here so this one will be equal to let me create more space so okay this one will be equal to when you find the cube root of this will be equal to that is 125 divided by that is eight so we want to find the or the cube root because of this, it means that I find the cube root of this question. Multiply by, same thing here, you have to find what? The fourth root of 1 over 16. So divided by, now the square root of what? Of 25. So now, if you find this, the fifth root, I mean, the cube root of 125, that is, the, that is 5 times 5 times, that is 5 is power of 3, that is 5, right? Now. Let's put it like that. The cube root of 125 is 5. And the cube root of 8 is uh two so therefore now we have it to be equal to we have to be equal to we have the cube root of this that is five divided by the cube root of eight that is what two multiply by and here the fifth root of one is still also one divided divided by the uh, fourth root of 16 is two okay so everything divided let me put like this division this division here let me put as divided by okay root of 25 that is five so let's solve it now 
that is 5 times 1, we have 5. 2 times uh, 2, that is 2. So it will be equal to, we have 5 over 4, that is 2 times 2, we have 4, right on. Divided by, we have 5. So now we have the division here. So we have to change the division to my question now. Okay, this one is a fashion. Let's introduce one one into this to make this one also work in fashion. And you then will change this division to multiplication. So when you change the division to multiplication, what we have, so let's say that from this place, So we have a 5 divided by 4 multiplied by. So when you multiply that, so we have 5 over 1. That's the give us as 1 over what? Over 5. Because when you change the division here, this part we have effect. It goes, or this one will go up. Why this one will come down to be inverse of this. So we have it like this. So the answer is this, in this place, this 5 can cancel 5 here. So it means that we have a 1 times 1 here. So the answer to this question is equal to 1 over 4. So the answer to this question 2 is equal to 1 over 4. And the answer to question 1 is equal to 6. So therefore now guys, are you going to, you go ahead and solve this question 3. Okay, let me bring it back here. So you go ahead and solve this question 3 as a classwork. Hey guys, so that comes to the end of the class today. So uh, the next video, in the next class, we shall be looking more example on this particular question under this uh, YGC class. So guys,